Runk. <laughs> Lifeline is an advice show for entertainment purposes only. If you need real help or advice, please seek a therapist or a licensed professional. Yeah, welcome to Lifeline, you guys. Welcome back for another Rip Roaring episode. You know what I mean? We're recording? Yeah, we are recording. And I will be in, when does this come out? Sunday? Oh, dude, I will be in Seattle tonight, crystalia.com. And I will be in uh, Rhode Island and New York and San Antonio and Sugarland, Texas, crystalia.com. Oh, I'll be in Jacksonville and Lakeland, Florida, and also Daytona, Florida. So go to crystalia.com to get those tickets. And uh, that's that's that. You gonna put the thing on the screen here? So we're gonna talk about the thing. It's um, being so vague, just saying. You want to go? Uh, you got a question? Click the link below, or go to lifeline.com. Uh, 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 oh, watch lifeline.com. Oh, see, you fucked up. Go to watch lifeline.com. Well, he's, there's a space in the fucking watch thing. Watch space lifeline. Well, I don't know yeah, why there'd see, be a fucking space, better. and the other thing is you know underlined. But uh, that's okay. Hyperlinked. Is Hyperlinked. Yeah. To say. One on one advice. You want one on one advice? Yeah, maybe people do, yeah. If they do, they should go to mattdelia.com and book a session with me, Matt Delia. There you go. Get yourself out of a hole. Yeah. The, out of a conundrum. The hole get her outer. Whatever you need. Um, and then we got the- We uh, talk about it. We got the great Lifeline merch is at, at Lifeline. It's at lifelinemerch.com. Um, so yeah, that's it, dude. Sorry, dude. Sorry, sorry we just said that, but we had to pay some bills. You know what I mean? We got to pay some bills. That's what they say on the radio. We'll be right back. We got to pay some bills Did here. Say that? Yeah, and then they go to the commercial. Hey, do you know anything about the death of Casey Kasem? No, I know. I I, I guess I, I knew he died. I guess I knew he died. I knew he died too, but apparently there's some scandal, the truth, like the uh, some mystery about his death. Why? But, but like someone I don't know, but here's the thing. Every time I open YouTube, uh-huh. it's it's a suggested video. I'm Casey Kasem. The mystery of Casey Kasem's death. And what? I don't click it. Oh well, but I think about it all the time, so I'm I'm always like, well, just click it. Whenever I think, uh, I'm see, ki- I looked, see, I know I looked on Wikipedia, and I'm it wasn't that shady. Him, and there's something that happened that's fishy. How I died. I'm Casey Kasem, and I'm dying of an illness. I think, but it might be because of something else. Was it uh was coming he on Kiss in FM? at number five? What was he on? What was he on? Uh, the radio. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, but and what also station? Scooby Doo. What do you mean Scooby Doo? He, what did he do for Scooby Doo? He was the voice of Shaggy. He, he was? was? Yeah. I'm Casey Kasem coming in at number three. Wrongful death. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I, I don't. I, I don't know. Oh, oh wow. Wowza. I'm Shaggy yeah, yeah. coming in at number five. I'm Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> 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 Dude, isn't it weird that we used to listen to him do like the yeah. top yeah. 100 yep. greatest whatever? Coming in at number 10, it wasn't me from Shaggy. <laughs> it, it, and it wasn't me. I died and it wasn't me. Somebody did it. Wow. The worst song title of all time. I'm Casey Kasem. Why are you doing it like you just got out of the dentist? Someone killed me. <laughs> Coming in at number three, <laughs> someone killed me. <laughs> no, no one killed him. It's like his family. Something about his family. Yeah, coming in at number was... six. Something about my family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's really stupid. Um, so yes, yeah, so Casey Kasem. Well, no, I didn't know about that, but I'll have to look into it. You know, I have to yeah, do my maybe, research. Maybe have some answers for me next time I ask. Yeah, I will. Um, so yeah. Anyway, but yeah. What the what fuck is that, is that sound? noise? Oh, someone upstairs, dude. Uh, my uh, my son got his big boy bed just today. He got his big boy bed. <sighs> And it's really cute. Cute. Cute? Not cute. You know what? It's really cute. It's cute, dude. And he likes it. He wasn't sure because he had the crib with the wall off of it. You know, he just could kind of could crawl in his own crib. It had three sides. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like That's a crib not is, a crib then. It is, but you take the, the, the side off and it, and it makes it, it like it's a nice transition into a bigger bed. And so then I, so, oh, I, so okay. then I got rid of that because I got another baby. I got the other baby coming and the other baby's going to sleep in the crib now. And then we're going to put the wall back up on that thing. And then he's got his big boy bed. And they came today. So what does the, what, what do you know about the second baby so far? It's a boy and he's is coming. It, is it named? No, we don't know the name yet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have ideas, but we don't know. Yeah. What do you think the name should be? Drop the names in the cup, drop it in the comments. Do you know what I mean? 
So fucking YouTube-y. You guys, what do you think the name of my new baby should be? Drop it in the comments. I'll pick I'll pick the one. I'll pick the best one. Uh, hey, your name is Lightning Rod. Um, do you want to tell up? everybody what mom wanted to name one of us? Uh, she wanted to name me Thaddeus. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Coming in at number one. No. Dude, <laughs> Thaddeus? What would they call me? Tad? Worse. No, Thad. Thad? Worse. Thad. Dude, Tad? No, it, it's Tad is the nickname for Thaddeus. She said she Thaddeus. would have called you Thad. Dude, has a lisp talking about emotions. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm Thad. My son is Thad. I'm Thad. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be okay. <laughs> I'm Thad. Nice to meet you. See ya. Wow. Someone driving away because my name is Thad. Um, yeah, dude. So if your name is Thaddeus, I'm sorry. How and different would your life be if your name was Thaddeus? Oh, I'll Thaddeus. tell you what. I, went to, went to, I would have went to full school. I would have went to fucking as much school as possible. I would have become, I had got some sort of degree and I would be fucking, do, I would be, honestly, I would do mounds of cocaine. Whoa. Mounds of cocaine if my name was Thaddeus. I feel like if you're Thaddeus, you need to be in academia somehow. They, they, exactly. Like a professor or yeah, something. So yeah. loads and loads of school, massive amounts of cocaine. But professors don't do cocaine well, that's where, Okay, so that's where you're wrong because I would be the professor that does do cocaine and I would do mounds and mounds of it. And Scarface would be my favorite movie and mm. A Beautiful Mind. Those, those, Both of those movies would be my favorite movies for different reasons. And then I would do mounds of cocaine. I've been thinking about this, dude. I should probably start doing cocaine. You mentioned that, which yeah. is weird. Why do you say that? Also, I, first of all, no, you shouldn't. I need to. Okay. Second of all, why do you say that? I need to get a. I need a go-getter attitude. I need to get up and just go. Let's do this because I don't do that. Okay. How about other things first? Like, though? I mean, I don't know. Many, many things. Like go Ginkgo to bed Biloba? at the right time and wake up early. Okay. Like I, get I, on this. What is it? Circadian rhythms. Get on a cycle, dude. Your sleep's all fucked up. You wake up at 11 a.m. sometimes. Yeah, shit. but that's because I do like shows and it's late and then I come home and it's one and then I go to sleep at like 2.30 because I'm fucking jacked and I have to watch like an episode of, you know what I mean? K kill thy neighbor. And so it's like to wind down though. You know what I'm saying? No, you should just go straight to bed when you get home. And then, dude, I'll toss and turn. I've tried to do that. I dry, if I do that, I'll stay up till five because I'm just like this waiting and bored. Mm. So I have to like wind down, maybe even watch like some South Park or something like that if I want some yucks. But like, I, you know, it's, what do you think? That you should do? Ad, you said Adderall, but that's like. I didn't say Adderall. You do, but you said it earlier. Someone else said Adderall. Okay. So someone said Adderall, but it's said, like, well, I don't want to get. better than cocaine. I don't want to get hooked on something though. Then why are you going to do cocaine? You I feel like moron. Adderall, I couldn't take it because it's a prescription. Cocaine, I feel like I could do it because. Because here, here's the other thing too. When I do, when I do cocaine. It, and I've never done it, but when I do it, I want to make sure people know I do it, and I want to have the powder all over my face all the time. I can't stand watching people do cocaine during shows. You don't have to see me do it, but I want you to see like the smear and be like, "Yo, what's up, everybody? How you doing?" Like doing the, my shows and be like, "He's on coke," and be people like, "I'm on, on coke." Just so you know, <laughs> people on cocaine are the most in, of all the drugs. Yeah, like being around people on different drugs. Mm -hmm. People on cocaine. Mm -hmm are the most annoying and I've been around yeah. many people on like ecstasy which are also so annoying but it's not even close cocaine True. is just like you the, you make me anxious when you're on True, cocaine True yeah I do yeah. I don't like I don't like cocaine there's a lot of people who do cocaine I've never done cocaine and people honestly think I'm always on cocaine anyway I can't imagine if I was on cocaine I'd probably be able to float uh, like or do magic or something I mean people are like this guy's coked out of his gourd all the time I told you about the fucking that shit that happened to me at Yep the, yeah yeah you know, people just come. Uh, people think I look so much like I do cocaine. They come up to me and ask me if I have cocaine. And when I say no, inevitably, because I never do, because that's one drug I've never done, mm. they look at me cockeyed and they think I'm like lying. Mm. Oh, you never done cocaine? No, I've never. Oh, done I didn't cocaine. know that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but but what about the thing when you went to go get your surgery? Remember? I thought that's what you were going to talk about. What? Remember when the doctor was like. Yeah, we have to talk about your cocaine problem. Oh yeah, yeah. My nose. Well, I've talked about that on this. Yeah, though. you have yeah. actually. Never mind. But yeah, my, you, my septum was so deviated. My sinuses were so fucked yeah. up that my doctor had like a sit down with me. Yeah. And like, uh, what do you yeah. call it? Like, like he had uh, brochures yeah. and shit about how to get off of cocaine. Right. I felt like a liar because right. I was just like, I look, I know how it's going to sound. Right. Everyone that you approach like this says right. this, but I've actually never even done <laughs> cocaine once in my life. That's so funny, dude. Well, uh, whatever, you know, at least that you're in good health and you don't do cocaine. I look like I do cocaine on the outside and the inside, apparently. Right. That's why the moral of the story. So why have you never done cocaine? I don't like people on cocaine. That, the first oh, reason is that. Interesting. Second reason is I have like a weird visceral 
disgust reaction to people snorting powders. Oh, really? Yeah. I've done it. I've snorted powders. What have you snorted? I was in something where I had to act like I was uh, snorting cocaine. What was it? Like a, a movie thing. I understand. What was the thing you were snorting? Oh, uh, I don't know, actually. So whatever it is didn't that ask, they used in the movie. Didn't ask such an idiot. No, I did ask, but it was a long time ago. But you know this. You'd do. You, you like. you get the prop stuff. Yeah, I and know. I go, and I snorted it. And but sometimes it's just baking soda. Sometimes oh, it's is, just is like, it okay to do that with baking soda? Is it cornstarch? Well, whatever it was, I did it and I, I didn't get high. Yeah, no shit. But I was still worried because I was I was like, well, like, yeah, I've never done drugs. And they're like, there's no drugs in this. I was like, okay. I remember you used to get worried that you would get contact high from being around people who were smoking weed. Right. Well, well, yeah, but you can though. Not really, dude. You if have you're hotboxing, what is hotboxing then? Inside like a really tight space and they need to be blowing smoke into your orifices. Really? Yeah, dude. If you just hotbox in a fucking like bedroom and people are smoking, you can't get a contact high? I mean, I would I leave never the room. Have. I just don't. I don't want to be in a lot people. of those rooms, but I've my, never had a contact. My now. whole thing is, if you're going to do drugs, do the drugs that don't fucking smell and like, you know what I mean? Get in my clothes. Weed is the worst. No, me. weed is not really a drug. Weed is for everybody. But that's fine though. But I don't want it to be all like in my face, plumes of smoke. It's like vaping is the worst. So dude. get people to do smoking. I don't mind for some reason. Get people to do edibles around you. Right, right, right. Way better. Way better. Br carry edibles. Okay. And before they light their shit, say, no, 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 here you go. And it, give them an edible. Yeah. Is it legal to carry around edibles? Yes. Is it? Okay. It is? Even yeah. if you don't have a license? You don't need a license, dude. You don't? This is California. California's weed is... Like, I could go get weed right now without a card. You That's could so go cool. into any store... Not without a card. ID only. I thought there were cards that you had to have. Nope. Not, that was years and That's years ago. That's the old way. Hell yeah, dude. We're making progress, get dude. Get with the program, Grandpa. Maybe I should just go to one of the stores, get the weed. Can it, Can it? Do they sell brownies? They do, right? Yeah, they sell everything. Oh, fuck, man. Or maybe I want to smoke that loud, though. You want to smoke now? No, I'm just, I don't want to. I'm just saying if I'm outside and I'm outside of the place and I get it and I light up and I just smoke the sticky icky, it might be nice. It might be nice, but you've never smoked weed, have you? No, never, no. Okay. I, I should probably eat it. You're right. But the, the, here's the bullshit about eating weed, okay? I want to eat... Uh, I want to eat more than just a little piece of a brownie. Brownies are fucking awesome. I agree. But here's the thing that is weird. I I have such a high tolerance now and I'm so used to yeah. it that I can eat any well-made edible and not taste the weed. Then the person that I'm with will be like, really? And taste it. And they'll, they'll like spit it out. They'll be like, this is fucking disgusting. Oh, taste right. the weed. I don't, I, for some reason, I guess it's because I've had so many of them. I don't taste the weed in it anymore. I only taste the, the, the sweet chocolate. thing or the ch yeah whatever i mean sometimes it's not chocolate but, but, but why don't they everyone likes more brownies is what i'm saying why don't they just spread the weed out and make it a little bit like more you know what i'm saying and I then see. this way you could have two three brownies because i think and people, get equally as high with just one bite because i think with edibles you just want to get high you don't want an entire fucking brownie but this is not for brownie lovers it's for weed lovers do you know what i'm saying uh, to tolerate it going yeah. down. If oh, you want a brownie, oh. you get a regular oh, is that brownie. Right? Oh, I guess too, yeah. you could eat just like one little bit of weed brownies, but then also regular brownies. Yes. You could do that. You could totally do I that. I want to get high, so high. So nasal, so nasal. Be real like some of my Instagram posts. Anyway, let's get was going. That, be, be real? Was that Cypress Hill? Yeah. Nice. He, he liked some of my Instagram posts. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't my, matter my at DM, all. But, it's fine, yeah. but I want to get high, so high. Okay. Okay. So let's go to the first, first thing. Here we go. School sure. shooter. Uh, what's School up, shooter. boys? Uh, wow. This is Drayton from Atlanta. Drayton. Love y'all out here. Drayton. Um, keep doing what Either you're way. doing. My question today is, uh, hey, hey, uh, uh, oh. let me finish. Oh, that's exactly what my question is about. Interrupting himself. When people are interrupting you, schizophrenic, and you just keep losing your thoughts and your what you're saying because they keep interrupting you. And you just don't want to be rude about it yeah. and say, hey, shut the fuck up. I was just talking. It's the worst. But you you want to be able to say what you want to say. Yeah. And these people are always interrupting you. Yeah. My question is, how do you deal with these difficult people? Dude. Appreciate it. You know how I do. You need to get an oops button at chrislea.com. You go there and you just hit it oops because they interrupted you. You say, Lo, listen, man, we made a mistake here. This is not how the conversation is supposed to go. And I'm willing to accept my part in it. But like you interrupted me. Maybe I gave you some, maybe I gave you like a hint that I needed some help with this conversation, but I don't, dude. What the fuck? You're interrupting me. There's different kinds of people that do this though. And it, there's like tiers okay. of, of terribleness. Right. 
Okay, the tears of so, terribleness. So Chicks is one. Who's the the tears? The tears of terribleness. You ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. tears of terribleness. That's the very top of the a wrestling the, squad the, in the, the 80s. The highest tier of terribleness is Hulk Hogan with the black is mustache. The person that interrupts you because they think they know what you're going to say, and they start like saying it with you or I for you or telling you that I get it and I'm going to finish it for you. That's the worst. So I do you're that the worst. and I have to stop doing that. So you're the worst. But I'm, 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 in, I'm, I'm thinking about it. And then the, at the bottom is just like people who interject with questions that don't realize their questions will be answered by the time I'm done uh, so, talking. So now I think that's the worst. That's the most innocent. No, that's fine. Okay, it's innocent. You're right. That's the most innocent. That's the mo- most fine. It's annoying, mm. but it's the least terrible. So I'm going to get to that. I go like that. If you, if you just yeah, keep listening, yeah. you'll see that you don't need to ask that question. I yeah, that. that you can do that. And I get in trouble. You can also, you can do whatever you want though. The truth is you don't have, you don't have to be nice to those people because those people aren't being nice to you. They're interrupting you for whatever reason that, that's yeah. rude. Yeah. So you can say anything from like, wait, did you want, did you want me to tell the story or did you did you just want to talk that the most fucking sh- back like so angry doing that i do that yeah that's, that's the one good I do. that's good did to you want just so much darkness in you when that yeah, did you yeah. want did you want me to tell the story or did you want to just talk yeah because if you just want to talk go ahead i'll stop dude go ahead you know what i could leave you yeah. record this send exactly it yeah, yeah exactly. okay cool um but there's a number of things you can do uh-huh. you could do the oops button yep uh you can you can like wait till you're all done mm-hmm. and then come come correct with the person and be like look i don't know if you're doing that on purpose but you kept interrupting me and that's like that was wow. driving me crazy that's hilarious you know to be like talking and talking they keep interrupting you and finishing you talking and fucking and then by the time you're done and they go like this come here sit down with me <laughs> so in that conversation uh, i was trying to get some points across uh you asked some questions that i was already going to answer you also interrupted with stuff that you thought i was going to say it turns out i wasn't yeah. going to say that stuff some yeah. of the stuff you got right but it just made the general conversation take just way longer you do that i don't know if you do that and i'm just letting you know so i'll catch you later <laughs> But there's a middle tier as well. What? There's the innocent tier, then there's the really, truly terrible tier. You said there's the three tiers, right? Yeah, but then then there's the second tier. Oh. The the lowest, most innocent tier is tier one, and that's just like asking questions before the the gig is up. Yes. The jig is up. Okay. The worst, most terrible is- Have you said this yet? What? Yeah, have you said this? No. Okay, so you, so I, I'm, so I'm having trouble understanding what the t- two that you've said are so far. Okay, the first one that I said yes. was the worst one. That's the third one. Okay. Okay, so that should be the top one. It's it, it it's hard to it's hard to the worst one should be number one. No. No, because it's tier one, tier two, tier three. Okay, so I understand. Okay, the tiers are so, going up. Okay, all right. So so tier one is the least bad, and it's the interrupt, and it's the it's, innocent one it's asking questions. questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tier. Tier three is the worst. Tier three is the worst, and tier three is the one where you start, okay. the person who interrupts you starts saying what they think yes. you're saying, but they're wrong. Wrong. Right. Like I just like did. Like you it. just cool. did. Yeah. But so, and then what's two? Two what's is, the middle tier? is just like, uh, is just, it's it's like, it's half innocent because uh-huh. they, they are into it, uh-huh. but they like, they keep trying to say things that, that it reminds them of about themselves. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. But it's not as bad as the, the, the top. Yeah. Tier three. Okay. But that's tier two. Those are the tiers of terror. So ha, 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 have you have, on fire? I'm st- stepping on hot coals. So so did you um so did you think of this before? Mm-mm. You just thought of this now mm-hmm. that you had the three tiers thing. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Good yeah. job, dude. Thank Way you. to think on the fly. Thank you. All right, cool. Well, there you go then. And uh, yeah, I say just you get yourself an oops button at chrislee.com. How uh, can you run shit so hard? Anthony put a, a thing a, 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 an image of it right here. Ooh, that's the oops button you get at chrislee.com okay Thanks. he gets it okay okay cool um so hey, Matt. hey chris can't get rid of this we guy behind me podcast and we listen every week we have just a quick advice question for you nice. i love them yeah so we have two very close friends that went to thailand two years ago okay. never came back and after they came back they told us you guys should come next time mm. they're like our best friends and recently oh boy we found out that okay. they have already booked their flights to Thailand, mm. including some of our friends in like our close circle have already booked their flights and we have not heard nothing about Ooh. it. We have talked to them and they have not mentioned it. Oh, they seem totally fine. They're not mad at us or anything. We're exchanging gifts with our kids. Whoa. Yeah. So we have no clue what's going on. Oh, that's It's in three months. 
we want to go to Thailand, yeah. but we don't feel like we're truly invited mm. and haven't heard anything for two years, so we haven't really been saving up. So, uh, uh, what do we do? It's been two years. Any advice? I don't know. What was the two years thing, Chris? That they two years ago they went and they said you should come next time. Oh, right. I think just plain and simple, be like, wait, you're going to Thailand and they're going to, like, wait. Yeah. Well, are we all going to go? Yeah. And that you don't have to ask like an asshole, though. Just yeah. be like, wait, I actually thought we were all going to go. We were excited about that. Yeah. You, that's not like a way. You don't, you don't make people feel bad doing that. Uh, if yeah. you do, that's a byproduct of just actually yeah. wondering. This, this is a horror movie. What, what is? This is going to be a horror movie, you know? Oh, when they go to Thailand? Yeah, the, it's going to be called like the uninvited guests or something. And like you get there and they're going to, and you're, they're going to murder you. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, I think, I mean, this sounds like a horror movie. It's like, well, we didn't go, and then we, you know, and it, it would be by a, a Danish guy, you know what mm. I mean? And it would be half in English, half in whatever they fucking speak over there. Mm. Um, wow, you know? Uh, what do they speak? Danish? Hi. No, Danish, I'm saying. The, 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 oh, the, the, oh the movie. yeah, Danish. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, uh, no, but I, you, you go like this. You say, hey, um, just want to know all good i'm a big because you know me and i've said this before i'm a big proponent and you say this of not everybody needs to always be hanging out with all the friends all the time i get it but um you i just don't want you to think we don't want to go to thailand and i don't know if it's on us to say hey we want to come but you did mention it a while ago and if it's a thing that you're going to do with those people all good but just let us know because we're down I think that's what you that's what I would do. And then if they're like, oh, they'll probably be like, oh, come. Yeah. They, I, I can't well, imagine. Well, they definitely will. But be. here's the other thing. You don't want them to do like, exactly. oh, shit. All right. Yeah, come. Exactly. And they don't want you to. Exactly. So that's why you don't. So what do you do? Do it as many in as many words as you just said. Ah, uh, I'm the king all, of words. All you do is say what I uh, in fact, what I said is the best. Thing, OK, we'll say it again. Right. So it's you just like Trump. Hey, <laughs> you, you, something like, mm -hmm. oh, you're going to Thailand and you, wait, you're all going to Thailand? I th I thought we were all, including us, yeah. going to Thailand. But yours, <clears throat> wow, sorry. Wow. wow you know, yours die. requires the Thailand being coming up somehow. Yours? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you bring it up. No, you bring it up. You go like this. Ah, oh, man, it's crazy all over the world, man. You guys ever think of Thailand? <laughs> By the way. <laughs> Uh, I heard you were going. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Did you want us to come? Maybe not whole comment. I'm not saying all that. Just bring it up out do of the like blue. That. If you do it cares? like that, holy fuck, you're invited to everywhere I go, Just, by the way. Who, who cares? Just bring it up out of the blue. It's on your mind, you know? Yeah. Thailand. Oh, wait. I heard you guys are all going to Thailand. Like, we want to go too. Oh, dude. You that's know what the way you do? to say it. You know what you do? You get taboo and you pick the card where you can say everything but Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> How do you rig it? Well, you just what? Ooh, um, okay. So uh, all our friends are going, and we're not invited. Right, right, right. Yeah. But how do you rig it? Is it the, the logistics of that? You, you you fucking put up the card. You set the cards up. You know what I mean? All our friends, no, no, no. And all the friends are there and they're like, uh. <laughs> and they go, ooh, you didn't get it. It's Thailand. <laughs> so so now that we're talking about it, what's up with that? <laughs> so we were supposed to go. So I just don't know if you guys all know, but we were invited first, okay? Because two years ago, they said you should go next time. And what the fuck? Now everybody's all, what is this all about, dude? Everybody's going and we're not. Mm-hmm. I come up with great ways, dude. That's so roundabout. <laughs> it, requi <laughs> that is it requires you have to buy the game Taboo, first of all. Everyone has Taboo. Somebody Second of all, has Taboo. the card Thailand might not even exist. You, you have to you, make your own card. You make your own cards. You'd be like, you know what, dude? Hey, guys, so I, we'll, look, we'll play Taboo. I'm getting rid of these cards. I made my own cards. and just have like five of them and be Thailand, be one of them. Two of them. Two of them are Thailand. <laughs> A 40% chance. And then they do it again and then they say, is Thailand again? They say, yeah. And actually, there reminds me there's more I want to talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Taboo's fun, dude. Yeah. Taboo's the game we were playing when dad said, look at this. Yeah. 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 Those, All are, right. the, those are the days, huh? Yeah, those were, that was the day. Guys, let's take a break because this episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Um, look, when I feel like I'm my best self, uh, I operate better. My mental is better. I'm in a better mood. The reason I get there is because of therapy. Definitely. When I'm open and honest with my therapist. Um, otherwise, I can't operate in that way. Uh, when you're at your best, and I can certainly say when I'm at my, I'm at my best, I do great things. 
but you can do great things too. Uh, sometimes life gets you bogged down and you may feel overwhelmed like you're not showing up the way that you want to. Trust me, I get it. Better help can help. Working with a therapist can get you closer to the best version of you because when you feel empowered, you're more prepared to take on everything that life throws at you, all right? If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, and you never have, especially BetterHelp is awesome. BetterHelp is great because you don't have to go anywhere. They just match you with a therapist after you fill out a brief questionnaire, and you can just uh, you can just start talking. And it's amazing what this does. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and it's entirely online. And like if I you said. don't like the therapist they set you up with, yeah, you can just get a try a different one right away. No additional charge whatsoever. Right. So uh, it really it really takes the oh I don't want to get up and do this out of it yep. you need to therapy you maintain your car you, you you know you need to maintain your brain and better help is a, is a good way to do that if you want to live a more empowered life therapy can help you uh, help you there visit betterhelp.com slash lifeline today to get 10% off your first month that's betterhelp h-e-l-p dot com slash lifeline thanks Hey, whoa, whoa, the NFL playoff action continues. We are one step closer to Super Bowl 57. And for the NFL divisional round, check out DraftKings Sportsbook. I know I am. It's an official sports betting partner of the NFL. New customers can bet just $5. And guess what? Guess how many free bets you get instantly? $200. $200 in free bets. For just betting $5. Plus, all new and existing customers can take a shot at an even bigger payout with DraftKings stepped up same game parlays. Boost your NFL winnings with each leg you add up to 100%. Matt, who you got your eye on? I got my 40 later today. Uh-huh. The Cowboys are going up against my 49ers. I wow. can never root for the Cowboys because okay. they're the Cowboys okay. and I got my 49ers going all the way. So, the 49ers Excite me. They, they, okay. Well, they excite you. That's great. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code LIFELINE. New customers can bet $5 on the NFL divisional round and get 200 in free bets instantly. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code LIFELINE. Minimum age and elig- eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Same guy. What's up, Chris and Matt? Loving the podcast. Takes uh, apart, Chris, pause it, in Boston. takes apart calculators and <laughs> and like mixes them all up, and then figures out how to put them back together, and they work even better than they did the first one. <laughs> Dude, look at him! Like, what in your childhood makes you think that that's that guy? You know what I mean? Know. I don't know. I don't you know. You must have seen somebody like that a doing that. A therapist, well, you know, and, and I think that there's some trauma there. <laughs> so go go to go, so start, Steve Alpert. Start, yeah. start it over, yeah. Also loves his mom and so nice to her. Uh, Chris, I saw you in Boston, the late show. So good. So yeah, fun. The first one was better. Thank I you. I went with my girlfriend. And this is kind of what my question involves. So I've been dating this girl for about six, seven months, right? Mm. And I'm in school. And she's got a calculator. We're both going to study abroad <laughs> next semester. What broad are you studying? About a month. And she's going to be in Europe and I'm going to be in New Zealand. Now, we both want to make this so relationship far. work. Mm. So how do you guys recommend I go about this? Like considering time zones, um, oh my God. considering how far we're going to be, we're probably not going to see each other for like six months. Oh my God. Um, but we really want to make it work. And I, I really like do. this girl. But so how do you guys not. recommend I go about this? Thanks. Dude, let me, just, let me just tell you something here. This is so fucked. And I will tell you, y- you think six months is, is the doable. thing. doable. No. Let me just tell you this, dude. Okay, okay. I'll shut up. I'll stop interrupting. I'll stop being in tier two. Okay. So women change their... It doesn't take six months for them to... Um, you know, and maybe in these six months, I've... It's one day, bro. What are you saying? They go like this. They're, it's three months in. They're really missing the shit out of the guy. Yeah. They're missing the shit out of him, his oh. girlfriend. Okay. Oh, man, I miss him. Thinking about him every day one day yeah one of the days yeah like a dog runs by yeah. and goes to uh, the a dude that owns the dog yeah. and he's like oh hey what's up yeah and she's like oh I, that's a cool dog he's like oh that's hilarious um anyway uh cool not hilarious but okay yeah 
<laughs> and then that chick is out dude okay first it takes of all one day dude this is when you're, you're being on, the most sadipa right now in, in the history of the world because one time i had a, i had a girlfriend okay yeah and, and and we were things were going great oh wow okay things were going great you're being serious right now yeah oh we oh were wow going great. Sadipa! Yeah, yeah yeah but okay. we all learn from our experiences okay yeah so oh, by the way this has happened to me multiple times so well, we see. have we we, we we were have it was great she goes like this hey going to paris and i say huh she says yeah, going to Paris. I was like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. We've been together for two years. She's like, I'm just going to take a trip. And I go, I say, all right, well, will you t when? She's like, I'm going to go in like three weeks. Okay. I said, well, why didn't you tell me? What's you? She's already bought the ticket. I said, well, Whoa, you didn't. What the fuck? And she's That's like, weird. I knew if I if I didn't do it right then, I wouldn't do it. And I say, oh, okay. Uh, well, that's so weird though. Yeah, it is weird. Goes to Paris, doesn't meet someone. Uh-huh comes back from Paris, says it's over. Dude, she was there for a week. She didn't even meet someone. Okay. She came back, started dating someone in LA. So, it takes one day. All I gotta do is see something like a dog run by. Okay, but no. Okay, more to- Six weeks, two days is the same, So bro. you're saying, you're putting in this guy's head that one day, it's in gonna those be six one months, day. She's going to leave him? It's going to be like a fucking tennis racket to your face. That's not at all my experience at all. And I, frankly, I don't even hear that happening ever. Happened to me twice. I don't even, I only know if it happened to you once I with El Capitan, remember? Yeah. And then another, that was the one, the one that I didn't even mention. Okay. Well, anyway, I, I have a f completely different uh, opinion on the matter. It was El Capitano. But it's yeah. equally bleak, but it's not okay. similar to yours at all. Mm-hmm. Six months it's, when you're really in love with somebody, when you're thinking about the prospect of spending six months apart, mm. sounds so doable and so straightforward and so manageable. Okay. It isn't. It's not. It's so fucking hard and it feels like six years. It's the hardest thing in the world. So I think instead of, I mean, you're, he seems so young. They're in school. Did he say how old he is? The younger, the worse. I know. If that's you why were I'm 50, saying, you might be able to saying, do it because we're going to die in 20 years anyway. They might be better off keeping it loose and okay. saying we want to be together after these six months than like really putting it on themselves, pressuring themselves to make sure it, it works out throughout the six months. I'm not saying like go with God for six months, I'll see you on the other side. I'm saying we love each other, we want to make it work, but more than anything, we want to make sure that in six months we're back where we want to be with each other. Let me just tell you something, dude. Okay. I understand what you're saying. Also, it's, what about the guy? It's also, no, I know, but listen, dude, they're going to, they should, by the way, reverse the places they're going to. She's going to fucking Britain where the chicks are ugly, but the dudes are like, hello, how are you? Yes, it's Women nice to meet you. Women are beautiful in, in England. Where? In England. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. London. Where are they, dude? In London. They're not. Okay, anyway, keep going. And then the do, but the do, okay, fine. There are some hot women in, 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 in Britain, but bro, the dudes though. They all got fucked up teeth. They're yeah, ugly. But the, but the dudes, that's part of it. They're ugly. But the women, it's like, yeah, I got fucked up teeth. But with the dudes, it's like, uh, but all, you know, it's part of my fucking thing, isn't it? Right? Yeah. And so, and then, and so you're going to be letting her go there for six months. She's going to meet some dude named Hugh or Nigel, right? And then he's going to New Zealand where the chicks are just all tatted up and just ready? Wait, do we know? Oh, as a guy, man, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's all you dick. It don't matter. He, he just said Europe, right? He didn't say where yeah. she's going specifically. Honestly, any place but Britain is even worse. Mm. Any place, France, Spain. Worse in what way? Like she's going to cheat on him? Yeah, dude. Uh -huh. The dudes are fucking going go, go to I Spain. They should both, Banderas. They should both concede the fact that cheating is probably going to happen for both of them. They're young. And like, just, just look, here's what you should do. Mm -hmm. Go into it saying, we love each other. We mm -hmm. want to make sure it works mm -hmm. on the other side. We don't want to fuck it up while we're apart. So like, let's keep each other in one another's hearts but know that whatever one of us does here or there or wherever the fuck, it's, it's, we're going to have to be okay with it when we come back here. Because the last thing you want to do is really put pressure on yourselves. And then one of you is faithful. And then the other one isn't. And then by the time the six months are up and everybody's back, the truth comes out. Everything's fucked up. Get a wig. 
be her, go to Britain. She cut her hair, you know. The worst movie premise. Down the, shit. the worst movie premise <laughs> ever. For no reason. Like the, there's no, not even a, a reason to do it. <laughs> go to New Zealand because the dudes in New Zealand are not good looking, and the and the chicks in fucking Britain. I mean, the dudes got a leg up on them. Do you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, you're gonna go to Britain, dude. I swear to God, eight days. She's gonna be. What's up? What's up? What? What's up? Matt, are you saying what's that song again? Uh, I don't know. Am I saying what? Are you saying don't ask, don't tell? Basically? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying be loose with each other because if you're too tight, it's easier to break. Like let yourselves remain in love give yourselves a chance but let each other breathe because the more suffocating one one is or the other is you're just gonna end up pushing the person away or when one person does make a mistake or slip yeah. up or whatever the pressure is gonna be that much more like yeah. impossible to overcome Apple here we music, go play the song that goes ding ding dong what's up i don't like any of this wasn't it got it wrong i mean no shit that's so many songs at once it got it got wrong i got wrong that's uh mop okay i don't know that what i forget what it is and you know we played it in this podcast before yeah i know okay so anyway. but then you should know so no so he knows is what he's saying he says he doesn't know you're the one who played it i know because i asked mako the first time what it was and he told me and now he's saying he doesn't know which is bullshit there we go dude <laughs> Trillville. Why huh? were you holding out on me, dude? He didn't know. Anthony knew. I know. Why was he holding out on me? He I looked it up. It. What did you Google? Some cut, dude. <laughs> dude, it's called some cut. I'll tell you. Eight days in Britain, dude. Hello, how are you? <laughs> That's nice to meet you. Oh wow, look at that. Wow, nice outfit there. Wow, you got an hourglass on you, don't you? Uh oh. Ooh. I mean, oh, that's really nice, isn't it? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. That's happening for sweat entirely too long oh, in the no, beginning no, of the no, song. No, no, let me see the backside there. Oh, wow. Isn't that nice? I can put my drink down on it, eh? Hey, come here. Put, put a Guinness down on it. Wow. Okay. Stop. Anyway, uh, good luck to you, but that shit's so hard. Long distance, especially when you're young, is so fucking hard, dude. I done it, did it, failed at it, done it again after that, failed at it, never succeeded at it, bing bong bing, booyah booyah and booyah. The year of the bing bong. <laughs> I mean, it, I, it's hard. Yeah, it is hard. But here's the thing, it's it, there being an end already, it being six months makes it at least possible. So there is hope, I guess you could say, uh -huh. but that shit's hard. Eh? Yeah, all right, cool. All right, next one. Hey, Doormat and Christopher. Oh, the a worst few jokes. weeks back, you guys were arguing amongst yourselves which name Ever. was the best. Doormat. Dude. And then you said the worst name for a guy Keith. is Bruce. Bruce, yeah, that's you? No, so it's not. I was named after my grandpa, Bruce. I like Bruce. Who died from leukemia. Okay, and uh, so thanks for crapping on both of our names. That no problem, Matt, dude. Matt did but that. that's not why I'm sending this No up. problem. I would like some advice on the most creative or memorable way to quit. Um, not in a mean way, but just want it to be creative. And I've been at the same job for about 11 years. Wow. Or same company doing this, doing my trade for 11 years. And I really like my boss, but you know, I think it's just time to move on. And side note, he watches this show uh, religiously. Oh boy. Uh, sometimes we watch it together nice. at work. So I'm not sure how this is going to go, but <laughs> hilarious. I don't know. What do you think is the most creative way well, or this. memorable way to quit your job? This is. Let this. me know. Hey, hey, boss, Bruce is thinking about quitting. So why don't you have the conversation? Bruce is out. No, he's not thinking about it. He's done. He's out. He hey, boss, you're done. Okay. okay? Well, yeah. Boss, so Bruce is done. Bruce doesn't want to work for you anymore. We're sorry, um, but it's okay because you don't want a guy that doesn't really want to be there and he needs to do bigger and better things, right? And he has no hard feelings. He's not mad. He's not mad. He doesn't want to make a scene. Doesn't want to make you feel bad. He wears it's gel in his to, hair. It's time to move on. His name yeah. is Bruce. Uh, this is the way. Well, Bruce, we'll let you know 
that this is happening, our producers will let you know, follow up with you so you can watch this episode with your boss. Right. And he will learn this way. Yeah. Hey, Bruce's boss. Dude. No, no, no. Oh. He doesn't want to do it in a mean way. He said not oh, no, in a mean way. That's from me. But I know, but still, it's like, let's be on everybody's side, right? Okay. Because this is Bruce's face right now. No, he knows. He knows it's coming. No, but he, he, he saw the, the, he's watching Lifeline. He's going like this. Why is he doing that? Because he's watching it with the guy. Uh, but he knows. Why are you acting confused? Well, why did you? He, he's thinking, why, why are you? The boss? Yeah. Why, why didn't you just? Oh, the boss is doing yeah, that. Yeah, dude. You didn't say that. You said Bruce was doing that. The boss was doing that, I said. You said Bruce. Okay. Well, I meant boss. Fuck. Okay. Um, um, so, yeah. 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 That should go over really well. Y y y well, I mean, look, dude, there's no easy way really to quit. You want to quit? You want to quit. 11 years of this shit. You know, obviously you've been thinking about it. So, yeah. it's all good, man. And, you know, you could still remain friends. You can still watch the show. Why don't you, dude, vow yeah. to watch the next episode together the at least. The next year full of episodes. Right, right, right. There you go. You know? So, yeah, dude, we're with you, buddy. And we're sorry. And Bruce, I don't think is the worst name. You know um, what? I, and I'm not just saying this because I got called out uh -huh. on it. I, I, I agree that Bruce is not the worst yeah. name. Yeah, Bruce is a cool name. Yeah. Bruce Willis kind of made it popular. Um, okay. Bruce is not that bad. It's no. true. I don't know why yeah. I even said that. We were just making jokes. You know, we have fun. Yeah. I think Wanker is the worst name. Wow. What's up, Chris and Matt? Huge fan of the podcast. Well, how's he Repping not that spin move mentality hoodie. Uh, I just wanted to ask you all for a little bit of advice. I work for a retail job right now. Mm -hmm. And I work with a lot of really cool people. We're all in a group chat. We all try to get together on our off days. It's awesome. And um, play softball and basketball and stuff like that. But hmm. whenever I hang out with them, I always find myself being really awkward and being really to myself and saying things that like I think back later and I'm like, oh, why did I say that and stuff like that. And it makes me, you know, I'm, I'm, I find myself awkward to a point where I kind of don't want to hang out with them, even mm -hmm. though I enjoy... I enjoy them all. They're all really cool people, and I enjoy get, getting out there playing softball or whatever we're doing. But I, I find myself so – like being so awkward, I don't want to go out there and hang out with them because I don't want them not to like me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. So I just wanted to know if y'all have any advice on that. I, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I'm normally a really, you know, funny and outlandish, pretty loud dude. Yeah, it seems like I just find myself with them being huh. – real real awkward and contempt mm. i'm not really sure why uh any advice man yeah. i'd appreciate it fulfilling prophecy like man said, that's what yeah. happens you got your own hole you dug yourself in it and now you can't get out the truth is each time for two things each time you hang out with them is its own time once it's done flush it down the toilet it's over nobody else is still thinking about the weird thing you did yeah Nobody else is thinking about you in a good way. I mean, as much as you think. Like, I wish I could fuck all your wives. <laughs> anyway. As much as you think it was dumb of you to say a thing and how it was like it's festering for you, that's not what's happening with them, first yeah. of all. Second of all, don't let it accumulate. Otherwise, like Chris said, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. The more you think, ah, shit, I shouldn't have said that, the more likely you are to have it happen again where you say ah oh, shit that was a dumb thing to say mm. or whatever just like let it all go what's done is done mm. next time you hang out with them this is the new you mm. and guess what if you do something that's awkward who the fuck cares do it again yeah it's not gonna happen the more the less pressure you put on yourself to not be awkward the less awkward you will be also it's that shame that's speaking to you dude it's your oh shit i wasn't good enough i wasn't there dude i have the tapes that play in my head too ever since childhood you are good enough and you're fucking it's like that what's that uh, Stuart Smalley? I, i'm good enough i'm smart enough and doggone people like me yeah. you know what for real and i have trouble with this but affirmations man you look in the mirror you look in your eyes and you say i'm worthy of friendship try to do that watch how fucking hard it is inside you watch your heart do a twist and turn it's fucking hard do that until it doesn't feel weird anymore and that will help for real and i'm not a big affirmations guy i do say affirmations you know i was getting a massage the other day i was so uncomfortable i couldn't fucking enjoy it and face down i just started saying i'm worthy of I'm, I'm i'm worthy of love people like me i'm good and dude i got out of that shit man and your masseuse was like i, I mouthed what? it well i mouthed it oh, oh i did it just like i was face down in the hole that and been i was like so weird for a masseuse I okay i am okay like that kind of shit. Yeah, that's very strange. But it helps though. They say it helps. It's like fake smiling then turns they, into a real they smile. They do say that helps, yeah. So I try to do that. And so do that. Well, look in your own eyes and say, I'm a good friend. That's look not the issue at hand though. No, but it. But, but you don't want to fix the symptom. You want to hit the root of the problem. Just be like, I'm not awkward if you need him to do that. I'm no not, but, no but one's paying as much attention to me that. 
It's deeper than that. As I am. It's deeper than that. The awkwardness is the symptom. You want to get the root problem. You want to go, I am okay. Look in your eyes. I am a good friend. I deserve friendship. Look in your own eyes and do that shit. Watch your heart do somersaults until it doesn't. And then you get into this attitude where you're like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it, man. I'm me. And I have trouble with it myself. I really do. I have trouble with it myself. I have a deep need of acceptance. But, you know, sometimes with different groups of friends, it's different. And with this group of friends, that's just, this is your fucking cross to bear. But you got this, bro. We can tell you're a good guy. Mm-hmm. And by the way, they don't like you for the reasons why you think they like you. They like you because you're you. And mm-hmm. we can tell. I bet they don't even think you're awkward. They, they probably don't. Yeah. Or they do in a fun way or they like it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, own it all. This is you. This is okay. You are okay. And do those fucking affirmations in the mirror, man. And watch your heart. Do a somersault. Stop saying that. Okay, that but specific thing. Yeah. So that's good. Whoa. Next me, one. There we go, dude. Me a couple years ago. Wow. How's it going, boys? Big fan of the podcast. Thank Big you. Big fan of the both of you. Uh, me and my girlfriend watch Lifeline every week. Uh, I've been watching Congratulations for years. My favorite episodes were when you'd have your brother or your dad on. Oh, nice. Was always the best. Cool. Uh, so I love Lifeline. Thank you. Thank you guys for entertaining us. Thank you. Uh, Cute. So I've got a question. It's a question you guys have received. Kind of similar. Uh, my coworker stinks really bad, Ooh. like cat piss most of the time. Cat piss? Uh, sometimes yeah, just I've, like pure stench. I've, I've I don't even know how to describe it. So if he was bad man, he's talking about cat do. Do. Uh, Should so I just say, you smell like shit? Oh, I don't farted. know. Should I go to my manager? Uh, it's he's got pretty unbearable to, to be around. That's so that yeah, bad, man. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. So oh, I God. actually have experienced someone smelling like cat piss in my life, and it's, it's fucking a tragedy. Now, in my experience, the person was smelling like cat piss because of their diet. They changed their diet, and whatever they were doing was the reason, was responsible for their cat piss What? Scent. What were they eating? They cat be- piss and they, onions? No, they became vegan. And that was what made them smell like cat yep. piss? Whoa. And then they started eating meat? No, I, I stopped being around that person because they smelled like cat piss. But you said they changed. Oh, they changed their diet to vegan. To that. Oh yeah, wow, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it was terrible. Um, uh, for that person, I'm not saying veganism. Were you terrible. dating, or what? was it a friend? Dating or a friend or what? Yeah, I was dating. Okay, yeah. so um, that's a little different than workplace shit. You got to yeah. be careful. Well, yeah, you can't. Also, you can't even know if it's a diet thing. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is you got to be careful about telling them they smell like shit because you can get, if you're their fucking boss or something, yeah. they could get, get, get sued. So like- Write a note on a paper airplane. Make sure the paper airplane curves the right way. Mm-hmm. So like say your coworker's here. Go to the person you want it to go to. You throw it over there and it goes uh, that way. So it looks uh, like it came from over there. Yeah. What, but you're over here. What, me? Yeah. And she's like, these are the kinds that curve. No, uh, it, it, it bent. It When it landed, yeah. it bent. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 that's a rough fucking thing, man. Um, People scent that you can't escape from is is a real problem. It's, it's a, a real difficult thing, huh? Because oh, here's the other thing too. I don't know what percentage, but I bet it's high. They can't fix it, right? Maybe. You but know? like I said, maybe it's a diet thing. I haven't really been around people that smell bad all that much, to be honest. Oh, I, I have, dude. I mean, at meet and greets, when, when I do my meet and greets sometimes, there are people that come up and I'm like, oh, wow, interesting. Oh, oh you just a... Uh, you just smell horrible. Yeah. You know? Oh, is it okay? You haven't oh, been around a lot of people that smell bad? No, I mean, I really. have. Jeez, no. really? Uh, I really haven't. You're lucky, huh? Yeah. And I always smell pretty damn good. And so do you. Yeah, well, I think it's also, and I firmly believe this, there are probably m- many people in that person's life who he says smells like cat piss that don't smell the cat piss thing. People respond to Chemically, different yeah. people so vastly different and they say that if you find somebody that you love their smell that you will you will have good babies with them i made that up but i feel like i feel like um that that works good babies like 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 uh healthy oh like um like chemically that you're supposed to be with that person that's what i think i think that because you ever been around what you said is fucking stupid okay well does that make sense but you don't have any science that backs up what you're saying and i'm I'm not saying anything i'm just commenting on what you said you just made up a thing yeah. completely made it up oh but don't you think that sounds good and you said the result is good babies don't you think that sounds good don't you think it sounds probably right chemically you're supposed to be with the person you want to be with so you're supposed to be the person to to push the human race as 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 far as you can you uh-huh. want to mate with people who smell good with each other right 
Well, so that's probably what I, it. What I believe, and this is backed up mm, by science, mm, mm. the people we are attracted to, mm -hmm. whether we realize it or not, mm -hmm. what one of the things we're primarily attracted by mm -hmm. is scent, even if we're not oh, recognizing it. Scent, yeah, for sure, definitely. Yeah. Oh, definitely. So they trick you with shampoos, though. You know, you got to get beyond the no, shampoo. No, but we know what's what. Do we? Yeah. Because sometimes you just smell herbal essence and you're like, I'm in love. Yeah, but you get under, you get underneath it. That's you do. Yeah. You're saying pheromones. Yeah, I think we are way better at that than you ever we been. Think we realize. You ever been with somebody that their breath is just intoxicating? Uh, no, but I've been with someone whose breath smells like rat poison. Okay, well, and uh, and 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 tastes like rat poison when you kiss them. Oh God, damn motherfucker! Me too. No, I have. You have? Yeah, but but I've also been with people whose breath are intoxicating. Breath is intoxicating. Yeah, I'm just like I can't get enough of it. The Kristen is that way. She, she, she always has. Yeah, good, Kristen is that way. Good breath. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, so yeah, no. I guess. But maybe not. that's just for me. I don't know. That's what I feel like. Maybe someone else. Because sometimes you've been with, with with people who have bad breath, and then they start dating people, and you're like, uh, yeah, they're, exactly, they're not gonna, exactly. You know, they that's come what out. I'm talking about from the first point I was making. Right, right, right. What's terrible? Yeah. What smells like cat piss to one person might smell like fucking roses to another. On your tombstone. Have you ever uh -huh. dated someone that you actually love their smell? Uh huh for however long yeah. in general and then something happens no where you suddenly detest their scent like a brain injury no like, like you just they become vegan oh no okay mm. well that happened to me wow that's crazy and it was a devastation yeah that like sucks another. yeah oh wow okay I well, hope it was worth it that they weren't eating meat go ahead next one doubt it Shaggy a guy from Scooby Doo <laughs> I'm Geisha Geisha <laughs> Canadian Hey man, Chris. What's going on? I'm pretty excited to talk to you guys. Huge fan of you, Chris. I have a dilemma. Okay. Um, I've got some friends who I love, uh, but lately it's been really hard to hang out with them because they always have to be the wokest person in the room. The wokest? I yeah. like to, you know, mess around and hang out and have fun. Oh. And we all know what our opinions are on certain subjects, but for some reason they always feel like they have to do a little comment and be like, look how woke I am. Look how much oh, better God. I am than you. And it really Wait, makes what? my stomach hurt. And I don't like being around people who try to act like they're better than other people. And I just want to hang out and it's really driving me crazy. And we kind of don't like this certain friend group anymore because it just feels like everyone's afraid to talk to each other and they don't <laughs> feel like real friends. Yeah. They feel they're like not. people were trying to impress. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys have that. If you have a group that you tried forcing yourselves to hang out with at any points. And because I have a hard time not being friends with people anymore. So just oh. let me know. Like cutting them out? Yeah, that's what he means. Yeah, yeah I, I just, it's just, you need new friends. That's awful. That is so awful. If they just always. Sorry, I was saving humanity. All right, thank oh, you. Oh, wow, he did the thing. Okay, I thought, yeah. I thought Marco paused it. Yeah, no, he didn't. Um, yeah, dude, it, that's awful, man. I, I just, I, you need new friends that they're not going because the woke, you can't be woke enough. So they're all going to start fucking sword fighting eventually. I he mean, it's just. He said that it's just one group of them. Though. Yeah. It's not all of his friends. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But you need new friends. Well, maybe he doesn't need new friends. Well, okay. Maybe well, then you need to cut them out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I just, yeah. And he said, we, he probably means him and his I, girlfriend. I really, well, yeah. I really, or he's got multiple or, 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 Yeah. Yeah. True. Or he's gay and is his partner. But either way, you got somebody that backs you up. Or cut he's him out. trans and goes by they, them and he's referring to himself as we. Yeah. I don't know. You know, it could be any, right? It could be him and the rest of the cast of Scooby Doo. <clears throat> I really want to know what he means, woke in what context. Like, it, does it matter? It could. It can. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I wonder how much I've never had friends that are as he's saying so woke it like mm -hmm. distracts from mm -hmm. the hang or yeah. something that sounds like you're hanging out with some like fucking tyrants or something well that's yeah you know? I mean a lot of woke people are like that yeah no I know but if it's getting to a point where it's that bad I can't even that's why I wanted yeah. context I wish I, I knew what I wonder what about. he maybe on the next live episode we do he could call in because like I wonder really what the fuck he's talking about with uh, like if they're like oh I mean look if he's walking around saying fuck it, saying right. racial slurs exactly. that's what I'm saying yeah, then like, it's like you know, know then bro you gotta fucking yes, chill exactly right but if he's like yeah so you know it's funny I, or if he's just like I like the show whatever the fuck and they're like well that show actually is problematic because of whatever right yeah. then you're like all right you know yeah, yeah. I, you know I, i'm just trying to chill you guys gonna judge me when you got your own skeletons in your closet probably yeah, well but i mean they you know everyone has shit so it's like um 
yeah it, i don't know what to do so small how he wrote it you also, don't, you so don't far know right. what to do is that what you're saying yeah i'm saying i don't know what to do for him oh, okay well that's but, a weird way to say that what did i say you said i don't know what to do yeah I, I don't know what to do for you oh just fucking don't hang out with those people i guess so i mean is it cut and dry so he, but then he's like is a problem ending get better at that Oh, I mean, really hardcore, man. I mean, like, no, get better at that because that's a skill we all need. You can't. What if you had a What if you had a group of friends that was fucking just all the time? You loved them, and then, but suddenly, all of a sudden, all of them started shooting heroin into their arm. Well, would they you would have probably a hard time? not even realize I was gone because they'd be so doped up. Would you have Would you have a hard time nixing them? Like, no, how, but I how would. How bad just, is this? I would be like, guys, you do too much heroin. I gotta go, and they would you be like, would. This. no, you would. I'm saying as a hypothetical to the guy who's yeah, here to okay, answer the question, right, yeah. he would be able to be like, oh, what the fuck? And mm, get out of there. Mm. That's a way more extreme example and a way more harmful example. Maybe. But like, maybe just realize what you've said, which is that you fucking don't like these people anymore. Yeah. And they're not, they don't make you feel good or whatever. They make you feel tense, I think is what he was getting at. Yeah. Uh, then don't hang out with them, dude. Yeah. And if it's hard to nix people out of your life like it's hard for everybody to do that but that's yeah. a skill you need true so just get to practicing on these fuckers yeah so basically just don't hang out with those people anymore and then also has it happened to you has what happened? have you had to been like i can't hang out with these people anymore oh yeah yeah for a number of reasons mm -hmm. not for that reason right 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 yeah yeah, yeah definitely yeah. Mm. yeah i have too smell like cat piss have you ever had it to, to do it with a whole group of people he's talking about a group of people yeah he is um because i've cut people out of my life kinda it's usually like the entry point is one really good friend and ah. then the group is like yeah okay. people i know through that right one right good right friend yeah right? yeah Sounds so yeah kind of yeah all right well look you know all, all power you know, more power to you we hope you get through it uh seattle i'll see you tonight chrislea.com get tickets uh jacksonville lakeland and daytona i'll be there next weekend sugarland texas and san antonio i'll be there the next weekend and then later on in february i'll be in new york city rhode island providence rhode island and um uh, chicago, uh chicago thank you very much uh if you want uh, go to chrislea.com for tickets you want one-on-one -on -one advice sessions with my brother mr dig you out of a hole mattdelia.com if you have a question click the link in the description below or go to watchlifeline.com and you can get the merch like the guy was wearing the spin move mentality sweater or hoodie at lifelinemerch.com i really like that hoodie yeah it's a good i didn't hoodie. love it at first but i really fucking it grows like on it. you and, and that's it, what good merch does it grows on you just and, like this podcast and it's comfortable as shit yep okay so guys leave a comment bump up the algorithm make sure you're subscribed and if you're not subscribe to super good